If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Thank you for being part of our community. Good morning, Davao, Mindanao, North, South, East, and West. This is your newscaster, Elijah Hilcacho. But before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. For the headlines, our weather forecast on Monday, Pepito may bring rains and winds in Ilocos, Benguet, Zambales, and scattered rains are expected in Pampanga, Tarlac, Apayao, and Cagayan. Ofel may weaken into a low-pressure area. Local news. Over 1,000 Mati residents joined Earthquake Tsunami Drill. Davao City expands elderly care support. The ICT urged public to enable two-factor authentication for enhanced online security. DCPO sees 3 million pesos drugs arrest 76. National News 7 killed in Nueva Vizcaya landslide. Fiesta Senor 2025 procession to proceed as planned CBRT pledge road clearing. International news. Ukraine fires U.S. made longer range missiles into Russia for the first time. Stockpile diapers, medication, and baby food. NATO members Sweden and Finland advise citizens on how to survive on war. Entertainment news. How realistic is Conclave, the movie that lifts the lid on how a Pope is elected? Dave Collier debuts Shave the Head with a little help from his friend John Stamos. Sports News The Trump dance takes the sports world by storm. US MNC beats Jamaica, Jamaica to book place in CONCACAF. Nations League semifinals. Featured stories exploring the vibrant street art scene in the Philippines. A culture revolution in urban spaces. U.S. summer's new star Christian Pul Pulisic shines in CONCAF Nations League. Trivia Philippines rise terraces. Ancient engineering is marvelous. Weather forecasts. National weather on November 20, Pipito will bring rains and strong winds to the Ilocos region, Benguet, Zambales. Scattered rains are likely in Pampanga, Tarlac, and Apayao, and Cagayan. While the rest of the country may experience partly cloudy skies with isolated rain showers. Also, Ophel will be expected to weaken into a low-pressure area. Local weather forecasts in Davao City will have partly cloudy skies with a low chance of rain. Expect warm temperatures, so stay hydrated if heading outdoors. Just a reminder, bring umbrellas and rain gears, especially in areas with expected rains in a sunny regions. Wear sunscreen and drink plenty of water to stay cool.
Local news, over 1,000 Mati residents joined earthquake tsunami drill. Over 1,000 Mati City residents joined the fourth quarter nationwide simultaneous earthquake drill NSED, the tsunami full-scale exercise on November 14, 2024. The activity aimed to strengthen disaster preparedness with Mati serving as the pilot area commemorating the devastation or the devastating 1934 magnitude 8.3 earthquake and tsunami. The drill include dock cover and hold, evacuation to a tsunami safe center, firefighting and rescue uh, simulations. Davao Oriental Governor Nino Oy emphasized the importance of disaster readiness for earthquake, typhoons, flood and fires organized by OCD Davao and local authorities. The event demonstrated the community's commitment to safety. Davao City expand elderly care support. The Davao City LGU, in partnership with the DSWD, continues to support the city's elderly through Konsu Gien, a residential care facility for neglected and homeless senior citizens. Manager Ramonita Salamanca highlighted that the free services provide including food, housing, medical care, and burial assistance. Established in 1993, the facility operates on donating land and is among the city's first LGU-supported elderly shelters. Currently housing 53 residents and it is also offers psychosocial therapy and vital interventions. The program, now in its 31st year, underscores the city's commitment to elderly welfare and care. The ICT urged public to enable two-factor authentication for enhanced online security. With rising cyber attacks, the ICT Davao advises enabling two-factor authentication for online transaction, especially on a public Wi-Fi. Regional Director Eva May De La Rosa cautions against using a public Wi-Fi for banking and processing sensitive data as cyber criminals often exploit these connections. Two-factor authentication adds security by requiring one pin and send to your phone, preventing unauthorized access. De La Rosa also warns against uh, using public computers such as uh, those from the airport due to the potential malware like key loggers. To your safety, uh, avoid public networks for sensitive transactions and always enable extra security measures. DCPO sees 3 million pesos in drugs arrested 676. Uh, the Davao City Police Office or the DCPO confiscated nearly 3 million pesos worth of suspected illegal drugs during the 29th anti-drug operations from November 10 to 16, 2024. Police arrested 37 individuals and seized 432.59 grams of shabu valued at 2.94 million pesos and 153 grams of marijuana worth 18,362 pesos. Under Acting City Director P. Cole Hansel Marantan, the DCPO also intensified anti-gambling efforts conducting 35 operations that led to the 42 arrests, including the 10 most wanted and 25 wanted individuals. This action are part of the DCPO's ongoing four directives community operations. National News 7 killed in Nueva Vizcaya landslide. Seven family members were killed in a landslide in Barangay Labang, Ambagyo, in Nueva Vizcaya, triggered by a typhoon Pipitos rains. The victim, including two girls and five boys, they were asleep when their house was buried. Three relatives survived the tragedy. Despite pre-emptive uh, evacuation efforts by local authorities, the victims did not heed the warnings, as previous storms uh, did not affect them. Typhoon Pipito, Ofel, and Nika displaced over 600,000 people and affected 1.8 million nationwide, with damages estimated at over 8.6 million pesos for agriculture and 469 
1.8 million pesos for infrastructures. Fiesta Senior 2025 procession to proceed as planned. CBRT pledge road clearing as preparations for the 468th Fiesta Senor in 2025 begin, the Cebu Bus Rapid Transit or the CBRT project management is committed to clearing Osmeña Boulevard before the Misa de Gallo. FR Jules Van Almarez of the Basilica Menor de, de uh, Santo Nino assured that the ongoing CBRT construction would not disrupt the solemn foot procession, which will start from the Basilica and proceed along Osmeña Boulevard. CBRT project manager Norvin Imbong confirmed efforts to clear debris along the boulevard ahead of the event. Although concerns remain about uh, the uh, dr drainage construction, the Fiesta Senor uh, procession is scheduled for January 18, 2025. International news, Ukraine fires the U.S.-made longer-range missiles into Russia for the first time. Ukraine has fired U.S.-made ATA CMS missiles into Russia's Bryansky region, making a major escalation on the 1,000th day of the war. The attack came after Biden's administration authorized Kyiv to use longer-range American weapons against targets inside Russia. Kyiv used six ballistic missiles with Russian air defenses shooting down five. Fragments from a damaged missiles caused a fire at the military facility but no casualties. The, US of, uh, uh, the use of ATA CMS follows the decisions to allow Ukraine to strike deep inside Russia. This marks the first time uh, that these weapons have been used in such an attack, signaling a shift in tactics. Stockpile diapers, medications, and baby foods. NATO's members, Sweden and Finland, advise citizens on how to survive in a war. Sweden and Finland have updated survival guidance for their citizens amid growing defense concern over the Ukraine conflict. Both countries, which joined NATO in the past two years, are strengthening security in response to Russia's invasion to Ukraine. Panflips distributed to millions of households providing advice on preparing for military conflict, power cuts, extreme weather, and communication outages. The Swedish civil contingencies agencies is distributing the latest version of their wartime brochure, emphasizing the preparation for the war and resilience. Finland's uh, Ministry of the Interior also issued a new guidance on handling potential crisis including power and water shortages. So shortages. <music> Entertainment news, how realistic is Conclave, the movie that lifts the lid on how a pope is elected. Conclave, directed by Edward Berger, delves into a secretive and political char charge process of selecting a new pope. Based on Robert Harris' 2016 thriller, the film explores the tension between faith and ambition among the Roman Catholic Church's senior figures. Featuring uh, Rafe uh, Finis and Stanley Tucci and Isabel Rosalini, the movie depicts the intricate uh, politicking and subtle maneuvering behind the papal election. Well, it, is, uh, it captures uh, many aspects of conclave, including the uh, circulation of cardinals and the iconic white smoke signaling the election. Some churches critics like Bishop Robert Barron have uh, uh, condemned the film for portraying the church as corrupt and self-serving. Dave Collier debuts Shave Ahead with a little help for his friend John Stamos. As Dave Collier undergoes cancer treatment for stage 3 non uh, Hodgkin uh, lymphoma, he is receiving support from his friend John Stamos. Collier shared a photo on Seamus' Instagram where they both uh, sport shave heads. 
where Stamos wearing a bald cap and shows solidarity. Stamos is a scene helping Collier buzz his hair and later alongside Collier's wife, Melissa, kissing his head. Stamos praised Collier for his strength and positivity during this challenging time. Collier, known for his role as Uncle Joey on Full House, shared his diagnostic diagnosis last week, revealing his treatment and the impact on his hair. Sports News The Trump Dance takes the sport by storm. The Trump Dance, popularized by the President-elect Donald Trump during his rallies, has recently gone viral among athletes. First seen at Trump's rallies where he swayed and pumped his fist, and the dance gained popularity after the, his re-election. San Francisco 49ers Nick Bosa began the trend by celebrating a sack with the dance. UFC's John Jones followed suit after retaining his title, with other NFL players like Zadarius Smith, Brooke Bowers, and Calvin Ridley joining in. Christian Pulisic of the U.S. men's soccer team also performed the dance, satisfying, uh, clarifying it was just for fun and not political. USMNT beats Jamaica to book place in CONCAF. CACAF Nations League semifinals. The U.S. men's national soccer team, or USMNT, uh, secured a 4-2 win over Jamaica in St. Louis, advancing to the CONCACAF Nations League semifinals. The victory gave them a 5-2 aggregate, uh, aggregate win. Uh, Christian Pulisic scored twice, and Ricardo Pepe added a goal. The Mary Grace brace the Jamaicas wasn't enough to spark a comeback. Head coach Mauricio Patricio praised the team's first half performance and their quick adaptation to his tactics. Pochettino, and, uh, uh, in charge of, uh, for two months, expressed satisfaction with the team's growth, calling them a unified group ready to fight for something special ahead of the 2026 World Cup. Featured stories, exploring the vibrant street art scene in the Philippines, a cultural revolution in urban spaces. The street art scene in the Philippines has exploded in the recent years, transforming urban spaces into colorful canvases that helps expression and cultural storytelling. Cities like Manila, Cebu, and Davao City have become hubs for talented artists who use their murals to convey powerful messages about social issues, uh, national identity and personal experiences. These vibrant artworks, often visible on buildings, walls, and alleyways, provide a voice for marginalized communities and create a sense of a Filipino pride culture. Notably, the pandemic saw a raise in collaborative murals as artists sought to bring hope and unity to the streets. The growing street art movement is now recognized internationally, with Filipino artists gaining attention for their unique blend and contemporary style and the traditional Filipino themes. United States soccer news star Christian Pulisic shines in CONCACAF Nations League. The United States men's national soccer team, or the USMNT, secured a spot in the 2025 CONCA CAF Nations League semifinals after a thrilling 4-2 win over Jamaica in St. Louis. Christian Pulisic was a star of the match, scoring twice and helping his team clinch a 5-2 aggregate victory. To win also uh, confirmed the team's place in the next year's Gold Cup. Uh, North America's premier international tournament under new head coach Mauricio Patricio and USMNT showcase remarkable teamwork and resilience. With the players adapting quickly to the new coach style, Pulisic's performance uh, was a testament to the growing strength of the American soccer, with hopes high 
for the teams as they prepare for the 2026 World Cup on home soil. <laughs> Trivia, the Philippines Rice Terraces, ancient engineering marvel. The Banawi Rice Terraces in Ifugao, Philippines are often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world. This ancient terraces carved into the mountains over 2,000 years ago were built using traditional methods passed down through generations. The terraces are not only the agricultural masterpiece but also an example of the uh, inadequate of the Ifugal people. What's fascinating is that the terraces are still in use today, helping the local population uh, cultivate rice in a way that blends modern and ancient practices. That is all for our news today. Thank you so much for watching this video once again. My name is Elijah Hill Cacho, your newscaster. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Good morning, Davao. If you find this segment informative, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe to stay updated with our latest news and share this broadcast to your friends and family. Your support helps us keep you informed. Help us get our first 10,000 subscribers. Your engagement matters. Liking, sharing, and subscribing to our content not only helps more people discover the important stories we bring you, but also supports our team's hard work. It boosts our visibility in the algorithm, making it easier for others to find ways to stay informed. Thank you for being part of our community.